Hello and welcome to the show. We start this week's Paris episode on GTA 5 with Swanheart having uh, gone to steal a car out of a car park. Everything is relatively normal. When it's the fire department this time that are being weird. Normally it's the police cars. I shall be honest, the Paris police department are normally the ones causing chaos. But this time, said fire truck has got confused by his signpost. Yes, I'm not sure reversing and trying exactly the same thing again is quite going to work uh, or do anything different. Um, it's it's not. It is the answer. <laughs> I've seen all sorts of people get stuck. I haven't seen a fire truck get stuck before like that, so well done. Uh, Payroll Man up next, also on GTA 5, has got the Batmobile that I've forgotten the name of uh, momentarily. Now they're playing around with it and the booby gun when it gets launched up, they fire the rocket boost just to you know send it into space as you do. You know, all fairly normal stuff. The thing is, the landing is almost perfect. It just misses the pool before <laughs> bouncing off the ground and rolling backwards into it. You can do that one better if you tried, so well done for managing to sink your Batmobile. Uh, we move next to Horizon 4 with one of the... These are like the street races that do have traffic to contend with. Everything going, I say, fairly normally at this stage in the snow. However, there is a gritter lorry that is determined to ruin all of the racing fun. And yes, that is parked across the road and caught everyone. Literally the entire field has got caught in this one. The player manages to wiggle their way out better than some of the AI cars, but... It's some seriously well-parked vehicle. Uh, Chairs up next with Horizon 4 End of Racery. Now, we've seen these get interrupted by the odd interloper, but this time just the entire pack of cars wanted to come and say hello in this. Oh, and there's no... <laughs> I've seen one or two drive through. I've never seen that many uh, on Horizon. Billy Bar up next on Driver San Francisco is heading up one of the jumps. Now, there is a ramp truck and the kind of ramp roads going on for the poor Lamborghini to have a bad time. Almost gets an awesome landing. It does come back down onto its wheels eventually, but uh, yeah, maybe not the double jump is not the way to go through all of that one. Blue Subaru up next on Dirt Rally gets things a little bit wrong and then very wrong. <laughs> it's a little bit wrong to clip the Armco barrier, but uh, the full Austin Powers has been completed here with the fear. It's not going to be going anywhere out of that one, is it? No, that's that's very, very stuck. And Neapolitan RPG up next on Spin Tires with their friend just falling over. I mean, this is a fairly regular occurrence in these games, what does happen in the multiplayer. Okay, it's not the worst. You know, it's upside down, but the vehicle can be recovered from that one. Uh, oh, now it's got worse. <laughs> Physics has had enough. Things into the scenery, that is a lot more difficult to recover from. That is a lot more difficult to uh, to get back. Uh, Douglas up next on Burnout Paradise is doing one of the takedown, well, I can't remember what they're called now, uh, takedown uh, game modes. Now they are on critical damage, which means they need to go and fix their vehicle up. They get wrecked one more time, it's game over. They spot a garage, so head off to get their vehicle fixed. However, the AI are having none of it. As it manages to get turn 90 degrees and torpedoes into the side of the player, car timed perfectly just before they go through the repair point. Ah, some well-timed AIing there. Sergio Turbo up next on the long drive has found a bus. Normally cause for celebration, although said bus is not happy. No, said bus is not happy whatsoever as they park their car up to go and have a uh, little... It's always a bit janky getting out of the vehicles. Park their car up to go have a look. That is one angry, angry bus that has been spawned, stuck slightly in the building, is going to wiggle around. I would not get too close to it. I don't know whether that could kill you. I feel like there is potential that that could, that could kill you. Oh, what is that? What is the game with the... I've forgotten the name of the bus game that has the snaky bus. Is it snaky bus? Something like that. It, it kind of reminds me of that. It has. It does eventually calm down, but still, you don't go near that. That's very dangerous. We're on to beam next, as uh, there is a drag car being built. You know, selecting the parts to build a custom config drag car sounds like a fun idea. The tyres are being a bit glitchy. It's definitely not how tyres are supposed to go, and perhaps unsurprisingly, the car launches the tyres burst. Well, you know, sometimes you get weird parts in beam. This does happen. Uh, this configuration clearly didn't... Oh, this really gone now badly wrong. Uh, <laughs> so it initially burst, that's fine, fair enough, but I guess something was very wrong with those tyres and when it spun up some more, just exploded the back of the car. Yeah, I'm going to say that didn't work. That's, uh, yeah, 
very, very broken. Uh, may go up next on iRacing. I mean, I like this sort of racing. This is my kind of thing. They've got the Skip Barber uh, open-wheeled car, and they're racing it around. The, is it the Daytona Rallycross circuit, I think? Yeah, my sort of silly racing. Now, you would expect many things to go wrong with this. It's not really a car designed for dirt or for jumps, but no, it's the curbs. The curbs are the things that have the biggest problem. That is a violent, violent roll for the car, finds the tyre bundle, and is uh, over and out. Of that one, yeah. Um, I love that it's across the jump, no problem at all. I mean, somebody else had spun there, which is perhaps not so surprising, is getting that back on. But the car is okay. I think Dash was turned off for this because you know they're not designed for this at all, which I get. Uh, but <laughs> see, it's fine with the rest of this. But the second, the second you even slightly bump a curb, I mean, that is a hell of a spiral going on right there, and off the tire bundle, and it's uh, it, it's done. It's, it's definitely done. <laughs> I like that you can still get away with it, though, in uh, in iRacing. And then a friend comes along to recover said car. There we go. Nicely done. And finally, we move on to our factor with Ben managing to murder two stock cars uh, across the barrier. <laughs> it was a good hit as well. They go to the inside. Well, they start getting turned on the outside initially anyway. The car on the inside doesn't really have anywhere to go. Everything gets spun across at the perfect angle to launch off of the barrier. That's one into the sky and two into the sky as they go flying through the air. Not much could have really been done for the car on the inside there, unless you got on the brake. Unless you'd seen it happen and could have got on the brake super early, but even then, that's uh, asking a lot. Yeah, it's a good crash. It's a good, it's a good crash indeed, and it's uh, one stuck upside down, and the other gonna ping off the fence. It's gonna not quite land on its wheels, and uh, the one I thought was gonna land upside down has it comes back down onto its wheels. It gets a boop from behind for its trouble. Yeah, that's uh, a little bit dangerous through that uh, that section, but there we go. That is gonna be it for this episode. As ever, if you have clips you'd like to submit to this series, you can uh, via a Google form. There shall be a link to that in the description. You can find all the rules and how it works on there. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.